Hello friends, we are standard employed by a fine company, so let's not stop lead coding till we get there. Today we are going to do k the smallest element in binary search tree lead code problem. And if you see some of the companies where I want to get a job who have already asked this question, there are companies like Uber, Amazon, Microsoft, Facebook, LinkedIn, Apple, Google, and Bloomberg. So that's why I am paying my utmost attention. I hope you also enjoy the video. So this is a lead code medium problem and basically we are given the root of a binary search tree and we are also given an integer called k. Now we need to return kth smallest value from all the given values uh, inside any given binary tree. So let's try to understand this with a couple of examples that are presented over here. So this is a binary search tree we are given and if you notice the important property of binary search tree where uh, for whatever the root node everything on the left subtree is less than that root node and everything on the right subtree is greater than that root, root node that is present for this BST. So that is the definition of binary search tree. I'm just making it clear. And now for this example, this is the binary search tree we are given and we are also given the value of k to be 1 which means we need to return first smallest value so in this case the first smallest value or the smallest value is going to be this value 1 and this is what we need to return as the output let's take one more example so in this case again we are given a binary search tree and we are also given the value of k is equal to 3 which means we need to return third smallest value so if we see in this case this 1 is actually the first smallest value, uh, same with this 2 is the second smallest value and same with this 3 is actually the third smallest value. So in this case, we will have to return this 3 as the answer. So I hope that you have understood the problem by now. Now let's see that what is going to be the optimal approach to solve this problem. Okay, suppose this is the binary search tree that we are given and we are trying to find the kth smallest value at any given position. So the idea I am suggesting is that for this particular binary search tree, if we make the sorted array of all the values and we sort them in increasing order, then whatever this array we have created that is already sorted, uh, based on this, it becomes pretty easy for us to find the kth value. Uh, how? All we have to do is just look up in this array and we, we will be able to find the value. Let me quickly show you what I mean. So for this particular binary search tree, if we see the sorted path where the first value is 1, then we have the value 3, then we have the value 4 and then we have 5, 8 and 9. And this is the sorted path that we have, we have been able to generate. Now once we have this value, it becomes pretty easy for us to find any kth position. Uh, how? Uh, suppose we are given k is equal to 2, we can immediately return second smallest value which is the second value in this case which is the value number 3. If we are given k is equal to 5, then we simply need to return this value number 8. Uh, if we are given k is equal to 3, we can simply return this value number 4. So now you, you get the idea that once we have this sorted path, it becomes pretty easy for us to find any kth position. So all we will have to work on is that from this given binary search tree, how can we actually create this sorted path? And if you know or if you have followed my previous video, you know the answer. The answer is actually in order traversal. So let me quickly show you the optimal solution using in order traversal for this problem. Okay, so in order traversal actually a depth first search kind of a traversal which means that first of all on the left side of the subtree we go to the leftmost position then we visit its node or its root value and then we visit its right subtree and we keep on repeating the same process. So let's see that what is going to be the path in this case. So path in this case is first of all we are going to visit the leftmost element which is 1 so we'll visit node number 1 then we will visit node number 3 then we will visit node number 4 based on following this left node and right more formula. After that, uh, we will visit the node again, which is 5, and then we will be on the right side of the subtree. So again, on the right side of the subtree, we will have to follow the same path, left, node, and right. But in this case, since this right side of the subtree does not have any left children, so we won't be able to update or traverse any left value, but we would be able to traverse the node value. So again, we will travel the value 8, and then in the end, we would traverse the value number 9. So in this case, this is the path we are able to generate from this uh, given input binary search tree using this in order traversal. And if you see this path, this is actually increasing order and this path is actually sorted which is very good for us. So suppose we are given the k is equal to 3. So if k kth value is 3, we can simply return 4 immediately. If we are given k is equal to 5, then again we can return this value number 8 immediately as mentioned earlier. And this is the approach we will have to take to solve this problem optimally. Uh, now if you want to learn more about different kinds of tree traversal, check out my video over here. Now let's see the time and space complexity in this case. The time complexity is actually going to be big of n, where n is the number of nodes that are present inside any given tree. And if we see space 
space complexity the space complexity is also going to be big of and uh, to accommodate our in order traversal There are actually two ways to solve this problem. One is the recursive way and second one is the iterative way. Now since you know me, I like the recursion better and even in the coding, first of all, we are going to create our recursive method called in order and that is going to return an array. So I have created the in order method that takes in a root value and also that takes in an array list. Now, first of all, we are going to check the terminating case. So if the given root is equal to null, we can simply return uh, whatever the array value we have. Okay, if that is not the case first of all we are going to call the uh, in order function again and uh, we are actually going to call for the left subtree so we are going to call with the root dot left child and we are also going to pass in the value of whatever the array we already received uh, once that is done we are also going to add whatever the uh, node value we have so we are going to add the value for that particular root and uh, in the end we are also going to call the in order method again for the right side of the subtree because remember for the in order we are actually following the method of left node and right so with this time we are going to pass in the value of the right side right child and we are also going to pass in the value of the uh, whatever the array we have created now once this uh, method runs simply we need to return this array list that we have been creating Okay, now from the main method, uh, first of all, we are going to create a new array list called nums. In order to populate this, we are actually going to call our in order method. And we are going to pass in the value of the root and we are also going to pass in the value of a new array list. Once that is done, all we will have to do is uh, basically from this array list, we simply have to return whatever the k minus 1th position element is. Because remember, this k is actually 1 index. Meanwhile, the array list we have been creating that is 0 index. So that is one tricky thing that we will have to take care of. Uh, let's try to run this code. Okay, seems like our solution is working as expected. Let's submit this code. And our code runs pretty fast compared to a lot of other solutions. It is also very efficient in terms of space complexity as well. And I will be posting this in the comments so you can check it out the solution from there. Thank you.